Hello, this is Nathan, and welcome to a specific guide to Dwarf Fortress. In this video, I will be going over macros. If you don't know what a macro is, stay tuned, I will be showing you, but essentially it's a recorded set of keystrokes that are played back uh, fast. That way, if we want to set up something specific, like setting up bedrooms, we can have the game do it for us. So that's what I'll be showing. So to start things off, we need to turn on a certain setting, which is off by default. So when you click escape, you want to go into the settings. We want to go to game, and then we want to turn on this option here. Keyboard cursor enabled, yes. This will let us record our keystrokes. The program for this does not record mouse strokes at all. So we want to make sure that's turned on. Now, if you go to key bindings and then go to macros, you can see the commands to do this. So control R to record, control P to play, control S to save and control L to load. Now, the nice thing is these macros can be saved um, for other fortresses. So if you save a macro for this fortress, it will be available to use in your other fortresses, which makes up, which makes setting up fortresses a lot easier, especially if you're like me, every time you play, you might make the same type of workshop. So this lets you do it really quick. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to set up uh, bedrooms, at least the way I did it in a macro. So what I'm going to be doing is recording a four by four um, room here or maybe not four by four, four rooms, and each room is a two by two, and it'll have a stair going down into this like landing area. All right, so what we need to do is, of course, once you have that cursor thing turned on, you'll notice one of these guys just kind of hanging out. When you first click like mine or something to that effect, even like a race or whatever, you'll see this cursor. Now to move it around, use the arrow keys. So you might might have to get used to doing that. This is like old school door fortress. Uh, you know, we're not using the mouse, all just keyboard. But that is how we're going to be recording. So the first thing you want to do is set up where you want your cursor to be. This is going to be where this starts recording. And you guys will see, I'll, I'm going to set this up so that way, if I keep playing the macro, it will repeat the process and do it perfectly. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your cursor is in place. As you can see, it's in the middle here. Um, and that's where you're gonna start recording. So make sure it's in the place that you want it to be. Now I'm gonna click, oh, come on. We are gonna to go to the mining area first. Um, as you can see, the cursor moves, so let's get it back in place here. And I'm gonna click Control R to start recording. When I do that, you can see in the top left, there's a little blinking recording thing. Great, so we know it's recording. So whatever keystrokes from now on, that's what's gonna be recorded, so make sure you're precise about it. So I'm gonna click M for mining, so it knows to be in this mode. And now I'm gonna start mining. So to click, so to start mining, you gotta click enter. So if you click enter, you can move this around and you can see it's designating where we're mining at. So I'm gonna make each room. There we go. Now I'm gonna go down and create my landing. There we go. And now for the stairs. So we're gonna click, of course, T, and we're gonna do this guy. And then I'm actually gonna move my cursor up here. So that way, if I click play again, it'll be in the same place where I originally was and it'll make more rooms. So once we're done, we're gonna click Control R to stop recording. We can do Control S to save it. So we're gonna call this, let's call it uh, four two by two rooms. And then now if we click Control P, It made it for us. And as you can see, my cursor is in the space where it needs to be if I wanna make more. So I can click Control P again. 
And there we go. So you keep us making it. Now, there's one thing that uh, the options don't tell you about. If you click Control U, you can see in the top left, it looks like a little number sign or hashtag sign. It's kind of cut off. But we can tell it how many times to play this macro. So it's always a two digit number. So if you want like two times, make sure you hit zero two. And then we're going to cl click Control P. As you can see, it did it twice. So this is a really fast way of doing repetitive tasks like making bedrooms. So all the only thing left I have to do is connect the bedrooms here and we're done. The door snow to mine everything out, everything is in its right place. And I only had to click one keystroke. So the macro works, but if, what if we have like more than one um, or what have you? So if you actually, let's do something real quick. So we're just gonna record just anything. Um, control R. I'll just do something. This is just an example. Control S, test. So now we have more than one macro. So to load up a macro, we need to do Control L. And then with the arrow keys, we can specify which one we want to load. So if we click on it, that's loaded now. We got to keep our, got to put our cursor in position, Control P, and it will play it again for us. There we go. So that's how you uh, set up multiple macros and load them up. You can also, as the last bit here, go to your settings, keybinds, macros, and you can see your macros here. Like I said, these will be uh, permanent in your door fortress file. So if you load up another fortress, you will see these. And of course, to delete one, you click on the big red circle cross thing. I don't know. Uh, but that's how do you get rid of it. So that's pretty much everything I want to show you guys with this. Um, I don't think I missed anything. There's some more complicated things you can do, of course, with macros. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see something like that um, or any type of video. Um, I really like making content for Door Fortress and anything to make this experience maybe a little bit easier or at least make more sense. Um, Door Fortress is a great game and it deserves the attention, especially if you like these type of games, colony builders, that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, that's everything I want to show for the video. As always, this is Nathan. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I'll see you.